Hi, this is Gross Cousins, and the following ACT Science Clinic and Viewpoints question is asking about a piece of evidence and how it weakens one of the two points of view provided. So let's go ahead and consider this. We're looking at uh, a situation in which we are considering theory two's arguments um, and then something that was used in the writing here of theory two to weaken theory's one argument, uh, theory one's argument. Remember that theory one was advocating for the use of genetically modified foods. This one says they're not viable, that one said they were viable. So let's go ahead and consider the answer choices. Bt toxins kill insect larvae of the European corn borer. Well, if you take a look here at uh, theory two, we never once mentions European corn borer. This is an example of something that is cited in theory one. But we don't talk about the European corn borer specifically here in theory two at all. It's not mentioned at all. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, answer choice B says Bt toxins kill insect larvae without regard to the nature of the insect. This is said. Um, but that doesn't necessarily weaken theory one's argument that genetically modified foods are viable. Maybe you can have a situation where you don't need any insects for a crop to grow um, healthy. So this doesn't necessarily do anything there. This is said, but it doesn't necessarily weaken theory one's argument directly. Bt toxins create new allergens in plants used for food. Um, this looks really good. So we talk about introducing foreign genes into food plants also has unexpected and negative impact on human health. And the um, evidence here is allergens. The problem here would be um, that Bt toxins isn't mentioned specifically in the paragraph dealing with that information. Bt toxins come over here in a specific laboratory study that says that Bt toxins kill many species of insect larvae indiscriminately. indiscriminately. Uh, and as you go on, it also says that um, since this does cause um, herbicide tolerant plants, as uh, theory one explained, it also says that the problem will lie in discrimination, that through pollination, the crops will crossbreed with other nearby plants, creating herbicide tolerant weeds. And then those weed killers that used to be effective against those encroaching weeds are therefore no longer effective, causing the GM weeds to inhibit food production. So it's not that the allergens, that's not mentioned in this part of the, of the passage, it's a fact that the weeds can then come in and um, take up some of the resources that are going to be used in order to have uh, greater food production would inhibit, it would lessen, diminish the amount of food production because we would have other plants that don't produce food uh, taking up that space. So here it says Bt toxins create herbicide tolerance in plants not used for food. Yep, so just like these weeds here uh, inhibit food production because of the Bt toxins, Bt toxins uh, can do that in other plants that are not used for food that are going to take up resources from those plants that are meant to uh, increase or you know meant to produce food. I hope that helps with this problem and happy prep.